Hey, what happened? Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Joe, and welcome back for episode 8 of the Rush That Base series. This is that series where we rush a base from Town Hall 7 all the way to Town Hall 12 with the intent to fix it along the way. Now, something that's getting kind of twisted in this series is that I'm encouraging rushing. Guys, it, this is not easy by any means. If you are not a diehard player that plays every single day, do not rush your base yet. I mean, it's, it's, it's challenging, just so challenging. I'm not going to lie to you. But in today's episode, we're going to talk about the three gem spending habits that you must avoid if you do not have all of your builders. Believe it or not, there are ways to get gems free in the game and you need to make sure that you get those gems first and then get your builders and then start spending those gems however you choose to do it. But there's three habits that we pick up early on in the game that we tend to do without even knowing we were doing them and you need to stop doing it. So something that I must point out about the achievements, something that I learned recently in Clash of Clans uh, Wikipedia is the fact that there are a collective total of exactly 14,677 gems available for free in the achievements section guys if you complete all of these achievements there's over 14,000 gems available did you I didn't know that I really and truly didn't know that what I do know is that in the league all-star by joining crystal league you gain a free 250 gems and then by going to masters league you gain another thousand gems and then when you get to champions league you gain 2,000 gems you gain 3,250 gems by, just by pushing alone so that's where you can really start gaining your gems and start getting your builders but let's go ahead and jump into those habits that you must break immediately. In order to understand where the first habit comes from, we have to go back to the very beginning in the tutorial. We started the game with exactly 500 gems, and then when you started going through the tutorial, you found yourself hitting buttons and actually finishing things first. The first habit that you must stop doing if you are currently doing this, and I hope you're not doing this, is gemming items finished. If you cannot wait, I understand, but you have to be aware that you could save your gems by just waiting out the long time that it takes to upgrade whatever building you have under upgrade but within the first couple minutes of this game in the tutorial you gem multiple items like very early on you gem the cannon and then you gem the town hall and then you gem uh, getting the second builder and yes I'm playing through the tutorial just to show it to you because it's been a long time for some of you guys out there that you've actually completed the tutorial but the way to combat this is that you could save those first 500 gems just by closing out the application and then coming back into the game if you decide to start a new account you can save these 500 gems or actually Actually, 250 gems by not gemming these items finished you actually spend 250 gems by building the second builder right here so there's our first 250 gems spend from the beginning on our second builder but the third gem or the third builder is actually worth 500 gems and you have to save it up and you have to collect uh, these obstacles around the base but this habit right here where you gem now you have to stop that immediately if you're currently doing it all right, so habit number two starts with the addition of the trader. So the trader was added into the game last year, and it has some amazing deals if you pay attention to it. Sometimes there's some free items in there. You just have to pay attention to it. But then again, there's also some items in there that are very enticing, and you cannot help yourself but click that button. And you don't really know whether it's worth it or not, and you have a ton of gems sitting there. So this applies to those of you that don't have all five builders. You need to save the gems up to get the five builders. If you already have them, then spend your gems however you choose to do it. I mean, it's only the most precious resource in the game. And if you value the item over your gems, then by all means, buy it. But in this trader, you'll notice that we have, like right here, we already have a rune of builder gold. And that looks pretty good for 1,500 gems to some players. For me, it doesn't because all I have to do is go out and attack a bunch of times. And I could possibly fill up my storage. But for those of you that want to fill it up right now, go ahead and buy them, by all means. But if you don't have all of your builders, 1,500 gems could go a long way with the fourth builder. I'm just, just throwing that out there, guys. Just letting you know you know what I mean so that's habit number two that you need to avoid if you do not have all of your builders now the third habit I talk about quite a bit if you watch any of my previous videos if you don't have a training potion and you want to speed up the production value of your army your barracks and your spell factories the third way of avoiding the spending of gems is not spending or doing a boost a one hour boost you'll notice right here you have a 30 gem offer for a one hour boost now if you don't have any training potions you might be 
enticed to click that button and do it. Now, if you can afford to do it, by all means. But if you don't have all five builders, avoid that option. So we'll just wait for the training potions. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Because we're going to go back out and do a little bit of farming while we're doing this video. And that is actually the third option that I can think of right, think of right off the top of my head that you need to avoid doing in order to save up your gems. It takes a little bit of time, guys. But if you collect your obstacles and the trees and the stumps and stuff like that, you'll gain gems from doing that. And as obviously collection or completion of the achievements, you will gain a ton of gems there. I mean, apparently there's almost 15,000 gems in there and I didn't even know it. So just some just some food for thought for you guys uh, to, to hopefully help you get your builders. If you are a gem saver yourself and I did not mention a method that you use in order to collect gems, drop it down in the comments below and let us know how you get your gems. Now, obviously, if it is a third party software and, or website, uh, try to avoid dropping that because it's kind of against terms of service and it's not necessarily the safest method to get gems. I'm just going to throw that out there, guys. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get back to work on this Town Hall 11. It has been a few days since our last episode, and you will notice that we do have our Eagle Artillery. Unfortunately, we do not have our Grand Warden yet because I've been kind of tied up with the Town Hall 9 free-to-play series and the whole pushing thing that I kind of forgot to get online and do some attacks. Now, we've gained a little bit of our gold back, but we are working with our Miners. You will notice that I did drop a Barracks, and we do have our second Barracks going to level 12 in order to unlock the Miners, and we still have two additional barracks to get up to level 12 so we got a ways to go like i said at the beginning of this video this is not an easy task and in order to use the army that i want to use i have to upgrade the barracks and get them up to the similar level in order to train the full army at a reduced time so we do have an army trained i believe and we're going to go out and try to find a dead base and somebody asked me recently what a dead base looks like let's see if we can try to find you one today that way you do understand what it is that i'm looking for so far they have been two live bases here we are with a very dead base and some of the indicators to determine that this is a dead base is obviously your expos you'll notice that the expo does not have any bolts loaded into it the dead inferno tower there is no lava pouring around it or whatever and it's obviously dark and gray and then as you look around the base you'll notice that there are gold in the storages or in the, uh, the gold mines and then also elixir in the pumps so we need more elixir than we do the gold right now because we are trying to get another barracks down or try to get our grand warden which is very important right now so i think we're going to come in with a little bit of some queen walk you're also going to notice that the queen is now level 10 what what that's what i'm talking about two levels since the last episode guys uh with the dark elixir farming with this army is absolutely phenomenal just absolutely phenomenal but she is still very weak and we have to be aware of an additional queen that she's going to be facing here momentarily and some players ask if you can queen walk a you know lower level queen if you know how to queen walk period Yes, certainly you can. Uh, you know, above level five, you can definitely do some queen walking. So we're going to get that queen on queen action going on here. Level 10 raged versus a level eight. And obviously the level 10 raged is going to win. And we're going to go ahead and use that king's ability and send our miners in off to the flank of that queen and send that queen back around the top of the base. We're going to go after the town hall. We are still going to continue to try to trophy push just a little bit. That way we can try to gain the remaining gems in Masters League and Champions League. But we got a long ways to go and I need to strengthen my arm me first before we actually go down that road and we still need to upgrade our spell factory as well because we don't have all of our spell slots unlocked just yet so you know the one thing about a dead base that's absolutely phenomenal is that you can do your queen walks and stuff and learn queen walking with a lower level queen and you don't have to worry about things like the expos and the inferno towers but you do have to you know kind of worry about the higher level archer towers and cannons because they will put a hurting on your queen and drop her quickly so uh looking pretty good so far I'm gonna drop a heal spell on the back end and looks like we got miners working against a wizard tower which the wizard tower is kind of winning right now and the queen's working into a dense location against another wizard tower and she's gonna have to battle it out versus the hidden tesla's there so let's just go ahead and send that let's go ahead and drop these wall breakers that way i, I can reset my army all right so we got miners working around the back side of the base they did miss a pump oh my gosh man they missed an elixir pump are you kidding me right now come on miners so that's one thing about the miners that you need to be aware of if you're not aware of that is they tend to get distracted like let's say a skeleton trap or something uh, attacks their miners the miners will change targets they will go from one target and change to a completely separate target this tends to be quite effective in defending inferno towers I, i've seen that happen multiple times where base builders will place the skeleton trap next to an inferno tower on purpose that way it will retarget the miners to go after another building or defense and not the actual 
Celestial Inferno Tower, which will completely disrupt the entire attack. It's just a pain in the neck. So we're going to get a nice pull here, but we uh, got about 29 seconds, and I don't know if we have enough time in order to gain the last 30,000 Elixir. Maybe. Let's see how it works out. Come on, miners. You can do it. Come on, into a bomb tower. Queen's going to go into an archer tower. 16 seconds remaining. You guys got this. Oh, come on, target it. There we go. All right, so we're going to be good right there. We're going to end it after this. I'm not too worried about collecting all of the trophies because we'll get there when we get there. I want the loot, and I want to move on. Yeah, baby, there it goes. Now, that's what I'm talking about right there. Now, one of the things that I did mention in the previous replay is that you got to be aware of the defensive levels that you're facing off against because this base right here has got a ton of dead loot on it. Very beautiful base, but there's also some seriously high defenses here that you have to be aware of. And then you also got some seriously high level. Man, I kind of like to have this account. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Maybe they should do like a relocation of accounts. I don't know. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of queen walking from the bottom side of the base and try to funnel our mind. I'm after elixir more than anything, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to grab all of it We're gonna finish up this video on this attack right here and see what we can kind of walk away with Miners, they're phenomenal. They're absolutely phenomenal But we got to get them leveled up in order to gain the maximum strength of them And that's something that I'm aiming to achieve in the upcoming weeks with this account is trying to get all of our barracks Upgraded and be able to train those miners and also get them upgraded That way we can kind of sweep through these bases very easily and in the meantime, you know while while I'm doing this and stealing Dark Elixir, I'm going to continue to upgrade my heroes because uh, them hero levels will help us out a ton in our farming. I know that a lot of you guys like to avoid those heroes, but if you can get the patience to just upgrade them, you will enjoy every moment of it because they are absolutely phenomenal um, You know, when it comes to tying into your other armies. All right, so we're going to go ahead and drop our miners on this side and see if we can get them to go into the core. Uh, we might be able to get that done, but we might not. I, I still got to try to get the win off of this base, even though... Uh, we are farming because I don't want to lose any trophies along the way That's just how I'm choosing to do it on this account because I'm after those gems like we talked about earlier in the video And we're gonna have to use that Queen's ability and we're gonna need to hold on up. Oh, no, we got a live expo We got one expo that's still alive. That's unfortunate. Oh my <laughs> I misread we got a misread here. We got a misread. We got two three expos alive two now Oh my hotlanta. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. That was a bad read the base was sort of dead It, it was kind of dead <laughs> Way to go, Joe, right? <laughs> Who is this guy? Who are you? You're horrible. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. All right, so we're going to get about 300,000 of the elixir, and our miners have made it to the core. They did get the town hall like we wanted, but we still got a bunch of resources that I did not gain. So just the level of defenses and obviously the live expos that I kind of missed. I should have just passed up on this base, even though the loot was so beautiful. Uh, but I know for a fact that our hero levels will help us out a ton in the future. Let's go ahead and drop our heal spell and try to maybe get on the backside. Uh, looks like we lost them. Yeah, we did lose him. So, unfortunately, that wizard tower was there, and he was in defense mode and dropped the gusto. But hopefully you were able to get something out of this video, guys. There's just a lot of different options now with the addition of the magic items last year or the year before the magic items. They help out a ton, but spending gems, you got to avoid it if you do not have all your builders. Uh, if you enjoyed the content today, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and we will see you in the next one, guys. Take care.